Hi friends, this is Karthik. Today we are going to talk about product management. First of all, I would like to inform everyone that product management is a skill which does not come through any course or certification. Product management is purely a soft skill which comes through set of practices which we come across our everyday life experience. Today, in this video, we are going to see top 10 soft skills which are required for you to grow as a product manager. Let's take one classic example of a product and use that product to cover all these top 10 skills and see that how we are achieving the end goal of the product. In India, where like husband and wife who are working in a corporate company often travel from one city to other city, right? Whenever they end up in a new city, they go in search of housemate. Most of the time, like 90% of the people are not happy with their housemate. The reason they are appointed directly by just hearing word of their neighbors or through some other source. So now the problem is identified. We are going to develop a product called My Housemate with the different skills which I mentioned as the top 10 skills which are used to grow as a product manager. The first soft skill is problem solving techniques. As a product manager, you need to ensure that whatever product you develop is either going to solve a problem or it should give a solution to the manual work which consumes more time. Let's take in our example product, housemate. It can give different problem solving techniques like the portfolio of the housemate can be built in the product, their past experience, the expectation salary, the working hours, everything can be mentioned and the end user can see all the piece of information of the housemate in the product. Second is make it more simpler design. So as a product manager, you need to ensure that whatever product you develop, the front end users should feel more comfortable and use it in a way that without any kind of a knowledge or like without any kind of a uh, training for the product, they should be able to use the product end to end. If you achieve this, then obviously you are going to hit the market in a big level. Let's take a classic example of iPhone. It has lots of backend functionality, but when it comes to the front end, it's more simpler and straightforward. Third is always understand end customers or like end users because they are the ones who are going to use our products. So we should always hunt in a way that what are the expectations, how it can be fulfilled in our product. Fourth is ability to review feedbacks. Whatever product you develop, it is going to receive positive feedback as well as negative feedback. The product manager should have super power in order to filter all the negative feedbacks and out of that filter, they need to segregate and take good negative feedback and incorporate in the product. So always think in your mind that all the negative feedbacks are not to be accepted. You should have a capability to ensure the right feedback is taken and incorporated in the product. Fifth is teamwork. Like as I already said, product manager is the only one who leads the team without any authority. Because product manager works with the design team, product manager works with the engineering team, product manager also works with the business team. They act as an enabler for all these teams and ensure that a good team wrapper is made across with all the cross team functionalities. The next soft skill is priority session. I always learn this from chef because they know when they are cooking biryani what first item should be added and what should be the last item added. They add oil followed by tomato, onion and finally chicken and rice. After 45 or 50 minutes, a end product called biryani is ready. Similar like that, a product manager should envision in their mind how their product is going to look after like 6 months, 10 months or like after 2 years. So depending upon that, they need to prioritize each and every modules in a sequence. The next skill is business use case. The document or like any recommend document whichever is written by a product manager is read by a technical person as well as a non-technical person. So always ensure that the document whichever you create is 
written like a story in a very simple English format so that it would be easily understandable by anyone who's reading the document. Next is a concept called RDS. Resonate. Buyers should have the name. Differentiate. Buyers should differentiate with other existing product. Substantiate. Buyers should ensure the products are delivered as per promise. So a product manager, whenever they are building a product, should ensure an RDS is always kept in mind. Then comes dynamic product. Most of the product managers, what they do is that they build a static product. But in a recent approach, it has been identified that when a dynamic product is built, the product can be used for a specific purpose as well as for some other purpose. For example, in our video, we saw Housemate app. If you are having a, all a dynamic functionalities built in the product, the product can be used by drivers in hotel as well as in school or any financial institutions, depending upon the end customer need. They can configure end to end and use the product accordingly as per their purpose. So when we are building a dynamic product, automatically the upselling and cross selling of the product is increased in the market value. Finally comes business skills. Yes, whatever product we develop, it is GTM. It goes to market for sale, right? The one thumb rule which we need to ensure as a product manager is that we need to satisfy customers. If that is done, automatically the money flow for the product can't be stopped by anyone. So please ensure that whatever product you develop, it should satisfy the end customers. Once it is done, the product whichever we build is automatically going to hit the markets in a big revenue. These are the top 10 skills which you need to always ensure to develop to grow as a product manager. Right? Thank you for watching my video. Stay tuned for next video. Thank you.